Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling very creative because our quote of the day is to practice any art no matter how well or how badly is a way to make your soul grow. So do it by Kurt Vonnegut. In previous videos, I spoke about how each person has unique gifts and that there is a perfect way for every person to express their unique gifts. To find this perfect expression of our gifts, we must use our creative powers. This creative power within us is the basis of progress and is the basis of true happiness. This creative power is the essence of life. We are all created in the likeness of our Creator. And as we know, He was a Creator. Therefore, we are all Creators. And to be happy, to be really happy, we must create. In fact, creativity is so important for us that in essence, everything is created. that is created is created twice. It's created two times. First, it must be created in our imagination, in our mind, and then it is created a second time physically. This is how any artist works and creates a masterpiece. Everything is first created in the mind. As Kurt Vonnegut said, the creative process makes our soul grow. Creativity expands what is and makes it better. We all have this creative force within us, and when we allow our mind the freedom to create without the boundaries of what is acceptable, what is known, or what is common, then we can really have what we truly desire. But oftentimes, we do not use our creative powers. Either we create without awareness, or we take other people's creations and take them as our own. Sometimes our parents, or our community, or our society create a plan for us of what is acceptable and we take on this plan as our own. We may follow a plan that was created by our parents, we will, meaning we will eat certain foods, we will live in a certain place and follow a certain culture and the behaviors that are acceptable in their eyes, in our parents' eyes. But the life that will come out of following someone else's created plan for us will not, in most cases, make us very happy. We oftentimes choose what to eat by following the habits of our previous generations. We think as they did in most cases, and our life life and our love life may also be similar to theirs when we follow their plans that they created through their imagination, or they may have even created it unconsciously. They created it and it seemed to work out for them. You have received these habits as part of a normal life without using your creative abilities to really create what you wanted. And the first part of these creations was not done by you, but, ra but rather by someone else in, in their creative mind. They created their eating habits, their life patterns, their beliefs, their religion, their relationships, and all, and so on. And you took on these creations and used them as if you had created them for yourself in most cases. But what would happen if you changed this? What would happen if you would have made your own creations for your eating habits, for your relationships, for where you would like to work, for, for your whole life basically? What would happen if you decided that you do not want to take on another person's creations and take them on as your own, but rather that you prefer to create the life of your dreams in every field of life by yourself for yourself. What would happen then? Where could your life be? And how happy could you really be? We are all creators and we can use this power within every one of us every single day. We can create a different and better reality for us, an ideal reality for us. The creative process starts in our mind and then in the physical. Pablo Picasso said, everything you can imagine is real. When you use this creative ability, you can have all that you really desire. When you become aware of the creative process, then you can use it for your own benefit. Pablo Picasso also said that the chief enemy of creativity is having good sense. 
When we follow all that we are led to believe is right, we are basically following good sense, so to say. But will we really be living our life to its full potential? This is the question we need to ask. We need to use our creativity to help us form the vision of our ideal life in every area of our life and then do the work to make it happen, to make it appear in the physical as well. Once the vision is formed, you know that it is possible. Then you can do what is required to produce the masterpiece of your life. Now, some of you may be clueless of the vision uh, that, that they wish for. And even those of you who have a clear vision of what you would like to create, it is still always best to use your intuition to help you form this ideal vision. There is no need to push or force this creative process, but rather to let it go through you. Many famous artists and music composers all saw or heard their art before they formed it into physical form. They say that it came to their mind through intuition. Michael Jackson said that he received his songs from a higher power, and so did Beethoven and Mozart and many other musicians. And Michelangelo also said that he received his ideas from a higher power. Everything is first created in the mind, and it gets into the mind through intuition. Follow this intuition, create the vision, and then do what needs to be done one step at a time to create your creation. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move you to a better life for you. So the question of the day is, what things in my life are there because I took on someone else's creation as my own? In which areas of my life am I unhappy with the results of these creations? Now, you know which areas of your life you should start from scratch with a blank canvas and start creating anew what you really, really desire to have in that area of life for you. As usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers to them in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can move your life forward in the direction that you want to. So to close off this video, the affirmation of the day is Using my intuition, I am recreating my life according to my dreams. Using my intuition, I am recreating my life according to my dreams. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness and then your life. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel to get videos like this almost every day and ring the notification to button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your life to a healthier and better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.